What's up guys, Josh here Fugit Tech, and in this box over here contains the all-new Vivo V20 SE. Now you guys may have seen our other videos on the rest of the V20 series, but if you haven't, go on and check them out over here. Anyways, let's not waste any more time, come along and let's check this device out together. So opening the box, the first thing that you'll be greeted with is the smaller packet containing some of the standard stuff including your clear jelly case, the SIM injector tool, and of course your user manual and paperwork. Right underneath that is the V20 SE itself, let's just put that aside for now. And finally, right underneath we have your power brick, Type-C cable, and a pair of earphones which I really appreciate Vivo for including for these phones. Now that we got the nitty gritty out of the way, let's go ahead and take a tour of the phone itself. Now from all the three V20 variants, despite the similar layout, the Vivo V20 SE is going to stick out the most when it comes to looks. Our unit in particular comes in the gravity black color variant, which looks quite executive, but they do also have a lighter color called oxygen blue if you fancy that more. The back employs a glossy design, along with this gradient mirror-like finish which is obviously going to be quite a fingerprint magnet, so thank god for that complimentary case. We have the rectangular camera module sitting on the left corner and is equipped with a triple shooter along with your dual LED tone flash. On the right, you can find the volume rocker and power button keys, while on the left, we have nothing going on whatsoever, so that's nice and clean. At the top, here's where you can find the SIM tray slot, along with your standard secondary mic on the right side, and finally, at the bottom of the phone, we have your Type-C port, single downward firing speaker, the primary mic, and the 3.5mm jack, which is always nice to have on board. I always appreciate a phone that boasts a sleek and thin profile, especially because they're easier to carry and take out of your pocket. Now the V20 SE is going to be the most affordable one from the three, but so far I'm pretty impressed with it and I'm confident performance is going to be just as good. So what do you guys think of the Vivo V20 SE? Let us know in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and be sure to visit yukatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Josh, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video.